Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. I go to the pit of tantry. When I go to the pit of tantry, boom, when I come home, I was fucked up. I ain't had shit going on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, I see niggas rapping. A couple niggas who I knew growing up in the hood, they rapping, fucking with it. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me just try it, you know what I'm saying? So I tried it. I liked it. Shit, I just kept at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But after a while, shit got bored and I just, I be having spurts with the rap shit, you know what I'm saying? I go hard for about six months. Yeah. And then I stop for like a year. And then I jump back on it for like six months. And I stop and I jump back on it. So it wasn't it wasn't until now I started taking it serious because like now I understand the social media shit. I understand how a little, a little more shit work. You know what I'm saying? Back then I didn't understand that shit. I'm like shit, nigga, I can rap. Mm. Nigga, he got the money. He fuck with the rap. I just rap for this nigga. Hey, he put me on. And I quickly found out that ain't how it go. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it go. They don't give a fuck if you can rap. Cause he don't want, that nigga don't want you to surpass him. So I ain't know that then, I know it now though. You know what I'm saying? So now, shit, I just be, I'm consistent now. I've been consistent about three years with the rap shit. Yeah. Just, okay, this don't work, I'm gonna try this. This don't work, I'm gonna try this. Okay, this work, I'm gonna stay with this. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But, Rap shit, that shit, that, that, that shit different now. But just with that being said, you know, you was talking about the penitentiary and shit. Like, how long did you do? And if you don't mind speaking on what it oh, was. Yeah, 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 you know, know. We ain't ducking no questions. Nah. The Hot Thoughts TV. <laughs> okay, I went to the penitentiary. I mean, I did some crash, thought ass, dumb ass shit. You know what I'm saying? I could buy soft, deadly weapon, feeling the position of the firearm. Uh, what else was? What's up? Alright, so she had one down. That nigga had, you know, did some fraud shit. Nigga struck out running. Nigga got to let it go out of, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. The nigga jump on the bus, bro, with some kids, bro. A school bus. It's crazy. It's like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, nigga. Traffic. We gonna cook road, nigga. I, I know this shit like yesterday. We gonna cook road, nigga. Me and this nigga get into a little tussle. Boom, the nigga did some fraud shit, him and his partner, they damn near, they jumping on me. Basically, they jumping on me, but I got it on me, but I'm the type of nigga, hey, we can shoot that squabble, you know what I'm saying? I won't fight, if I blow on you, nigga, that is, you know, nigga ain't stupid, nigga got a brain, nigga, I know I shoot him, I'm, 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 I ain't, I ain't no like, it's over. So I'm with squabble, the nigga did some fraud shit, him and his partner, they damn jump on me, he strike out, get on the fucking school bus, I hawk him down, now I'm out with it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I run on the school bus, you know, yeah. handle my business, get off the bus, you know, loud looking for me now, motherfuckers know my name, on the, you know, snitched on me, oh, it was, ooh, I was running for about probably a week and a half, I was on the run, and they caught up to me, and she took me down. So, how, that feeling, just like, being on the run, knowing like, Basically, you gotta watch over your back. How how was that for you? Just that that whole week and a half leading up to when you you know you went in. That shit been going on my whole life. On the run, I've been running for police my whole life. So to me, it ain't shit. But to the next man, it might be something. Good. To me, it ain't shit. <coughs> she just gotta have a better hiding place. Yeah. I ain't working for the loud. I'm gonna make them hoes do their job. You know what I'm saying? Like I got legal issues going on right now. You know, I don't want to speak on them. But, man, fuck the police, man. I'm gonna suck a nigga dick, man. I'm fuck, don't give a fuck about it. You people gotta wake up. These police ain't out here to protect and serve, bro. For real, they out here to fuck all of us. That's what they out here for. I can get intellectual with it, but I'm gonna just dumb it down. They here to fuck all of us, mm -hmm. basically. They don't give a fuck about it. our kids, the future of, of, of nothing we got going on, bro. I'm fucking give a fuck. But being on the run, that shit, that shit, to me, it ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Shit, think about it. Our daddies was on the run before we was on the run. They daddies, and they daddies before they daddies. Man, black men, been, Hispanic men, we been getting fucked over 
You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we could be all the way to the right. Nigga, one false move. Cause I made the bitch touch me. I put up, took a hand and took it off of me. I saw it. Now we going down, but this motherfucker the one who really did some shit. Yeah. You know how that shit go. They don't give a fuck about us. Yeah, yeah. And I was gonna say a little bit more, like you said you've been on the run technically, you know, your whole life, even to the foster days and shit like that. Being that, you know, you raised yourself, I'm sure music did play an important role maybe throughout oh, yeah. the time, you know what I'm saying? So what was some of the music, a soundtrack to your life, like in the early days? Man, early days I was listening to that Wayne, bro, when Wayne came out. He started doing a mixtape dedication, sup with the people. You know what I'm saying? So I came in under them times. I fuck with Jay Z, like like old school rap. Down south rap really ain't just do it for me, but I got rappers from the side, just like my favorite rappers. Like Big Pokey, my favorite rapper from the side, Big Pokey. And to me, ain't nobody fucking with me, bro. Today ain't nobody fucking with him, to me. You know what I'm saying? Another nigga might have to repeat a big pokey. He that nigga on that microphone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I let a big pokey, Wayne, Jay Z, motherfucking Kiki, he always caught my attention, little Kiki. Motherfucking Zero and Trey shit. You know, we from the West, so we grew up on that shit. Yeah. When they had the assholes by nature shit going. Yeah. Yeah, we grew up on that time. shit, like that shit, that was a soundtrack to a nigga like if a nigga want to be real, cause them niggas was rapping about shit we was really going through, yeah. like for real, like for real, for real, so that, shit, today like, but I ain't gonna lie, the nigga uh, from Atlanta named Trouble, that nigga Trouble Hard, that's like one of my favorite rappers, yeah. and, they, and I feel like he overlooked, I think I be gravitating, to the rappers who I know be overlooked. Cause I feel like I'm overlooked. See what I'm saying? Trouble the hardest nigga out to me. He don't be getting that recognition like he's supposed to get. He don't. But that nigga hard. In like present time, like he like one of my favorite rappers right now, present time. Yeah. So <coughs> but coming up back then, that Wayne for show, sure, that dedication one and two, yeah. You talking about word for word every song? Yeah, uh, but I had a nigga mind gone like a motherfucker. 